Down. Up. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Enter the Gungeon. Bullet into the Gungeon. Why'd I go down there? That's... It's, it's like a weird dissonance that I feel when I do something very slightly different than the norm, I guess. 250 episodes in, just about. Next next episode's 250. What are we doing today? We're just doing a plain old regular run. I'm just, it's been a little while. Like, I, I noticed that I've been doing a, some wonky stuff, like a bunch in a row. So we're just gonna do a normal run. It's not our old or retro profile. It's our retromation profile, our regular one. But I do wanna say something right away. It's, uh, I don't. No, oh, dang it. I don't know that it should be an issue at all. But I am uh, back from the dentist, and it may mess up a little bit of the things I say. I, I feel like my mouth and everything is all all back to normal. I did record a video and it wasn't too noticeable, I don't think. But I just want to mention if I have trouble saying some stuff more than usual then that may likely be the culprit. But, I will not mention again. I'm excited to be playing Bullet. It's not even an option on our other profile yet. I'm still, you know, still deciding what exactly I want to do with the future of the Gungeon series. I feel like maybe the goal is that I kind of just continue to do, wow, what I want for a while, maybe beyond. Um, I I think that there should be new stuff coming out, like, soon, right? Because they announced recently that the Switch version of the game, the Nintendo Switch version of the game, is going to be out by the end of the year. I would wonder if they maybe were working on new con the new content patch, the one that's not the full-on uh, expansion. I wonder if that maybe could be released alongside that, or with that, or something. Or before that. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm wondering. But I think, you know, maybe I'll... Not that the version will probably be different at all. Maybe it'd be a little different. Because I think that uh, Nintendo has, like, a little gimmicky thing with indie games where if you have a... Or is that Xbox? Maybe it's both. Where if you have a game that is already out on other systems it needs to have something special for the system i think that i think that is microsoft and their indie games like you have to include just a little bit of a a referency thing to make their version special i would honestly kind of like that if uh whoop, if that was something that nintendo did for gungeon not that there aren't any uh, items in the game that do reference Mario stuff already. Because there is. 45. Boom. For heavy bullets, that's nice. There's some situations where heavy bullets aren't nice. But it it's pretty rare. Oh my goodness. I think it's usually beneficial. No. Okay. <laughs> well, of course we get our half a heart back. I know we could maybe... You know, let's just open this stuff up. I've been getting rolling eye all the time. And it's not that great. And by that, I mean bad. <laughs> this is not nice. All right, so we got to open this up so we can have a gun. It'll probably be bad, but maybe it won't. Maybe it won't be. What a pipe dream that was. But I, uh, I mentioned the Switch version briefly because, I don't know, I thought maybe I do have a Nintendo Switch. I do like it a lot. Maybe we could do some different console stuff. And I know that it probably won't even be different, though, is the, is the issue. But we'll see. We'll just keep our eyes peeled. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to probably sell... No, there's some situations where rolling eyes nice. I do dread the fact that I have to beat this boss with just dueling pistol. But that's what I get for doing so terrible. Hey, if we had to get a boss to fight with dueling pistol, this is an okay one. There's multiple targets for this fight. So we can actually take use of the 
piercing effect, at the very least. Can't aim it very well. But we'll, we will hit some enemies on accident. I mean, it's definitely going to be much easier than trying to do this with blasphemy. Oops. Huh. I don't like that. Should we switch targets? Probably not. All right. Yeah, this is going to take a long time. This gun does suck, and I am having to switch targets more than normal. But we will notice this is going to last a long time. Ha! Ah, lay! Luya! But yeah, I, I don't know. I hope the Switch version has some different stuff. But more important than that, I hope the new content patch for all versions oh, is not too far out. There we go, there's one dead. Because I, I'm just so pumped. It's, I'm, I'm feeling... I'm feeling the drought. And I hope that... Uh, I mean, I don't want anything to be rushed, obviously, but I do hope it's on its way, because I know... Whoop! The game is, you know, it's falling off in some popularity to an extent, because, like, all games... It ages, you know, and time passes, and... People just, with a few exceptions, like major genre hogs like The Sims and stuff like that, where people only play The Sims, or Binding of Isaac is even like starting to fall off and it's in its extreme chokehold on in the indie scene, you know? Even that is slow, like, not, not permanently, like, but the, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. It's interesting. But I do I do hope there's a resurgence. Did my game crash? No. That was just the longest elevator loading time I've seen. Ever, actually. Yeah, just ho I hope there's a resurgence when they come out with the, the content patch and in inevitably the larger DLC. I'm really excited for the DLC, but I really hope that content patch is coming out soon so the game... Can, you know, people can remain hyped. Ooh, heavy bullets plus... The bullet is really good. Look at that. Because the gun stays on screen longer because it's slower. That's a synergy. That's a that's a light synergy. Oh, that's amazing. Um, yeah. The quicker the, the light, like, the lower content patch comes out, I think the better. So that people can, you know have something to chew on again something ooh, not that there's nothing to chew on in the game anymore but I don't know like challenge mode is not something I really like to touch very often due to the extreme frustration that was actually maybe not even necessary that dodge there which is wild what but I mean obviously all the newer items are welcome the pasts for bullet and robot are welcome but the thing that is, it is interesting to think about is, you know, the pasts for Robot and Bullet in the way the game is currently. You feel like you're not really completing the game all the way if you do the pasts. Because the Lich, like getting to the Lich and beating the Lich is so much harder. It is. Like, whether or not it's hard, some people would like to... Ooh, you know, pad their own ego and be like, that the lich is easy. It's, it's not easy. It really is not easy. It may be easy to you because of, like, just memorizing the pattern a lot and stuff like that, but, yeah, it's not an easy fight. So, you don't feel like you are supposed to go to, or at least I don't feel like I'm supposed to go to pass, because they're not the true ending. The goal is to get to the true ending. Otherwise, you're not... I'm not fully satisfied. Woo! So, basically what I'm getting at is they introduce challenge mode, which is a separate mode that most people don't like to touch after they beat it. Um, myself included. And then they added the, the pass as some of the major, major changes. And those are just like... They're temporary kind of... Things. They're, they're new content, but they don't affect the run-to-run -run gameplay that much. So this, the biggest stuff, and the, 
is stuff that I'm still very excited about, very pleased is in the game, because look, we're using one of them now. The, the bullet gun is was new, and that's very cool. That stuff is really nice, and that's, it's sticking, you know, like it's still fresh. It's keeping the game fresher. If it wasn't there, it would definitely be noticeable. So I hope that they come out with that soon, and it has some stuff that keeps it fresher, just stuff that changes the run-to-run -run gameplay loop a little bit. I don't know. It's like, I can't just suggest what it would be. I feel like, you know, it's, it's easy to say the same things like more guns, more items, more boss, but I don't know. The things I always come back to that I'm the most interested in seeing is, and I think that they've commented on it and say that they're going to introduce it is more mini bosses like the uh what's wow wow like the what is it the dark magician <laughs> i don't i don't know if that's what he's actually called but that's what he should be called like him and i, I think that's a good way to to switch things up on a run to run basis i think alternate floors not additional floors are a good way, good ways to do it. You know, with, with some alternate enemies and stuff like that. That's a good way to change things up. Whoop. Like other other games did it because it, it is a good idea. It's something I do like a lot. It's, it's just a way to not go through the same gameplay loop. Exactly. I mean, there's obviously the switch up in items and stuff like that. Whoop. But it'd be neat. New, yeah, new floor variations of, you know, the floors that are already there. Not just tacking more on to make the runs like an hour and a half. And then, yeah, more mini bosses. I think that's a good idea. And then, obviously, there's going to be other more creative ideas that I just can't think of. And that the Gungeon devs have proven to, you know, have the creative juices to figure out. That I may not have those exact juices. Are we going to fight the boss now? We are. I think we got a good thing going here with the slow-moving bullet. We honestly want to be, like, further away. Because the further away we are, the more bullets that the bullets are shooting will hit the enemy. Does that make sense? The yellow bullets, not the guns. Ooh, the further back we are, the more yellow bullets will be on the screen. Rolling Eye actually did something there. And I like the flaming guns. That is really cool. Gungeon never ceases to have a very, like, whenever you have these gun modifying, bullet modifying things, I mean, you can really create an interesting little setup. Like, we're shooting flaming guns that are shooting bullets. Like, if you think about that for a second, it's... It's pretty, pretty cool. All right, down to the next floor, I guess. I'll bust the chest. Speaking of nothing related to what I was talking about, we have, oh, oh, not keeping that. We have full health, so we should be using blast for me. So we're not wasting our ammo. definitely worth the money. <laughs> Such a bad gun. Such a bad gun. Is the, the, it has a synergy with the hammer, right? The nail gun. I'm almost certain it does, but I, I don't know how good it is. In those situations, I really hope that those secret... Um, maybe if they buffed up some of those secret synergies a little bit, the ones that are a little bit less extreme. Because that's fun. When you get the Whoa, look at how slow they are. Okay, hold on. Hit! When you get those two things and they just happen to be, you know, a perfect match to make the synergy, it's just really, it's really satisfying, especially when the hammer's, like, not amazing on its own. It's, it's not bad, but the nail gun is really bad on its own. Ooh, that was really dumb of me, but it did not hurt me. Uh, oh, okay. As much as it... Up. It would almost be interesting, and I'm not saying it'd probably be a lot of effort for something that wouldn't be shown that much. 
It'd be fun if, like, there was... Ooh. Ha ha ha. Help. Like a... Ah! A special synergy gun that kind of... When you got the two things, they'd merge together to create a new gun, Exodia style. Hell, it could even be an Exodia reference. I wouldn't put it past them. Brent, that one's free. Woo! It would be really cool, because it would kind of just be like the, um... Ah! The Gun Knight set. But a gun... I don't know. That's my free idea. You wouldn't see it very often, unless it was like, uh... Ooh. The gun I set where you, the, the more pieces you have, the more likely you are to find it. But even then, I've never naturally gotten the gun night set, and I'm 250 hours in. I know that they pride themselves on having these rare things be extremely rare. But, man. I think some of it's a little too rare. That that might just be me. I, I mean, what do you, I, that's actually something that I'm interested to find out what your guys' opinion on is. Do you think... The secret chest, if this happens to be like a glitch chest for some reason, when I was about to, okay. Like, glitch chests and rainbow chests, like, they're extremely, extremely rare. It's like 0.5 chance or less, isn't it? Maybe even, even less for the glitch chest? I don't know. What is your opinion on them being as rare as they are, where you can go 250 hours and see it once? Like, I've gotten two rainbow chests. One rainbow chest. And the, gl the glitch chest twice. It's like, what? It, and, nev and never gotten the gun I set. What is your opinion on how, how rare that stuff is? Because I think that if it was maybe a little bit less rare, like maybe you get it every 100 hours or every 50 hours, it would maybe go a long way to make the runs, you know, you feel like maybe there's more of a chance that your stuff is going to be special. But I also understand that, you know, it's really exciting when you get a rainbow chest now. It is. But I think if you cut the chance in half, it would still be really exciting. I guess is what I'm getting at. We should have looked up here first, but none of that's actually awesome. So I probably would have just gone for the same thing. I do like this run. The uh, the heavy bullets, heavy bullets, bullet synergy, heavy bullets, bullet synergy on bullet is fun. It, it works well. I I mean I can yeah I'll just show. If you don't know what I'm talking about, like this is with heavy bullets. It's firing like if if we were to sit here and count like one two three four like how many bullets it's shooting out. It's like on the screen longer than if and I'm gonna do this down here so I don't lose it. We do it like this. You see what I'm saying? I think you I think you guys know. Like there's more more bullets being fired. Boop, 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 boop. And it can still hit the uh, hit the enemy. And that's why there isn't if we could get like bouncy bullets, that'd be really nice. Ah! Weird to see the frost giant bullets be on fire. Ooh. Also, ooh. We can break the those bubbles with our glass stone, and it doesn't hurt us! Which, I know you may say, duh, that makes a lot of sense. It does. Wow. But there's a lot of things in the game that don't exactly work that smoothly. Like, and, and it's not an insult or anything. There's just some things that don't, that don't work as beautifully as that. That's just, that's so clean. It just pops the, pops the, the bubble. Pop the bubble. Judge. What the hell? I haven't seen that come out of, <laughs> out of the judge. Is that new? Maybe it's just a weird, uh, weird synergy or something. It almost looked like it was a combo of a couple of them. No, it's happening again. There's something weird going on, and I kind of like it. 
Is it just because it's so slow? I'm like able to see it more. Could be. Ah. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's very strange to see these on fire. I don't hate it though. Alright, we don't have a... Okay, we don't have a key. Is there one for sale? There is, but we can't afford it. Yet. With the heavy bullets, I think that this might be our best bet. Frost trying to slow down is not a bad idea either, though. I almost think that maybe it's better to miss. <laughs> I don't like the way those things played together. We should probably be using Blasphemy. I know I've said this before already. Huh. Ah. Huh. 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 It's not as fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh, we got lucky. Ooh, we got lucky. Didn't even really have that hard of a time at any point there. Laser Lotus, I like that. That'll be interesting to have as a slow weapon. Are keys 30 or 35? 35! Shame. Might blow up. Hey, that is pretty good. For blowing up a chest, or breaking a chest, that's pretty good. Down we go. I'm liking the run. What do we even use here? We have so many options, so many good options at that. Oop. It's like everything we have is pretty solid. Like, what's our worst gun? The Winchester? And that's pretty solid. That's pretty cool. Oop. I really, really would like bouncy bullets because that would just look so good with this bullet. Not only would it look good, it would, it would be a very uh, effective to like shoot past them or to get like smart you know what angry bullets would work for once they wouldn't work against that gun hmm for once uh oh yeah for once I want angry bullets maybe I'll even spawn it in just to see what it looks like Pow! Ooh, Keyman! Keyman! There. I love this! I love just shooting into the center of the room. These guns go forever. Do they actually, though? I say that. I said that, but I uh, don't know if that's true. Do they go all the way to the wall? I think they do. They never stop. I mean, they. I'm sure they stop eventually, but bouncy bullets, they'd be beautiful. I gotta spawn them in just to see after this. All right, I'm doing it. I'll drop them, I just. Oh 
my god. That lasts so long. Look at this mess. Okay, we gotta do one room with it. Before I drop it, right? Right? Let's do both of these. And we'll drop it after this room. I just gotta see. It's so good! <laughs> that was one shot! It's too good. I can't you can't you can't take it away from me. You can't. We'll do a we'll do a challenge on my head someday. That's the fun things about Mondi Gungeon. Actually, yeah, what well, we can afford to just pick this up right now, cuz doesn't matter, the shop is locked. Back to the normal, already pretty good version of this. Didn't stand a chance. What'd you steal? Oh. Thanks for the angry bullets, Noodle. You're welcome, Noodle. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's kind of risky, but. I got a lot of health to play around with. I'm not too worried here. Ha! Oh, <laughs> hey, I'm lucky. Not lucky anymore. Okay, my no. I thought that was a Makarov. I don't even know what our best gun for the boss is anymore with the sling and everything. Whoop. Whoop. Why is everything locked? Why are all the doors locked? Whoop. Kill this thing. Extra money. Just do this. Bouncy bullets would make it even better, but we can do it. Oh, I love this run. I love his run. <laughs> Stuff like that shouldn't be working. I like that indeed. It's gonna be hard to not use my blanks by reflex, but I think we'll be all right. I think we'll get it. Let's not use it immediately, please. It's all I wish. Shoot it past him. Huh? Ooh, thought I had. Blast me out. All right. Boss. Looks like it could totally be Wallmonger. Probably Wallmonger. I think it can be anyone, but the position of it leads me to believe extremely that it's Wallmonger. Whoop. 
I don't know if that's true that it can be anyone. I don't know if maybe it has has to be Wallmonger. Because I'm like, whenever I guess Wallmonger, I'm almost always right. When I try to guess the other two, it's like it seems 50 50. But Wallmonger needs a special space. We already found the secret room, I know. I just. Something about leaving it without checking feels dirty to me. I guess we'll go for the Wallmonger. I think we'll do Sling, I guess, mixed with Blasphemy. Should be pretty good. Hi! And Rolling Eye will come in handy. This is one of the few situations. This and Kill Pillars and some parts of the Lich are like the biggest uses of Rolling Eye in the entire game. Also, some pieces of Dragon. Ah! Well, actually, we have our... See, we have our jacket, too. We don't even... We don't even need a jacket. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Got the whole shebang here. What to fill? I, just, I think we gotta fill that. It's just our... Our item for the run. You know... Let's just go get... Guaranteed thing here. It's a guaranteed gun, though. How much do we even care about gun? I don't know. How much do we care about anything? What's that thought? Hey, I care a lot. I like that gun. I like that gun. Anyone else really pumped for the logo? <laughs> I know it's really old, old news now, but I love Metroid Prime. It's really good. Chamber 5. If I ever start, like, whoop, getting back into, or, it's hard to say that I was ever in to streaming, but if I ever get back to streaming, it'd be fun to do some, some games that wouldn't really function logically on my channel, like playing Metroid Prime, because that was, whoo, it was, it's always been my idea to play Metroid, the original Metroid Prime, ooh, on YouTube, ooh, Way back, like, I talked about it in my, back when I was doing Nintendo games and stuff like that. Back in my NES Metroid series. That's right. Yes, I did that. You can check that out. It's it's a lot different, a lot different than current, my current videos. Uh, but yeah, back then I was talking about doing it. I was doing it for sure. Of course I was going to do it. Times change. Nintendo changes. That's why I've started Couch Couple. And, ooh, shout out to Couch Couple. Go check that out. If you if you are interested in, uh, if you've made it this far, I mean, it's not really, not really a great place to do an advertisement, so it's more of just like a mention for people who somehow still don't know about it. It's uh, a, a Couch Co-op channel with me and my girlfriend where we play games that I would not play on this channel, really. Like, uh you know, Nintendo games, or we're going to start to do some older games and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's Couch Couple. If I forget to put a link in the description or something, I do have a link on my actual YouTube page somewhere. But I'm sure you've seen it by now if you're familiar enough with me. Like, if you're the kind of person who'd be, who would be interested in following another channel of mine because you like me, you prob probably know about it already. But for those of you who don't, I'm having a lot of fun with it. And Grace is having a lot of fun with it. Go check it out. Or don't. Probably should not even be using my blanks for stuff like that. Because Full Metal Jacket is so handy. Ooh. Ooh. If we keep enough blanks, we'll just we're gonna get a, a very, very casual lead god. I didn't even think about lead god at all. It's a really fun point to get into a get to a, the point. Wow, get to the point in the game where. Ooh, that was close. It's not even that big of a deal to get the lead god. Like it just kind of 
kind of happens. I remember the first time it happened on video, it was so special. And there's something, like, there's some people who it seems like that's the biggest thing they care about is whether or not, like, I get to let God or... I don't know. I think it happens a lot for me, though. It's happened a couple, like, I hate... A handful. This sounds really gloaty, but it's just true. This happened a lot of times, or at least like three times, where I just hadn't even noticed until someone pointed it out in the comments or something. And that's fun. I, 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 there's not a lot of games where I've gotten to that level of extremeness with. Ooh. And I'm not even like. I don't know. I'm not even the best at Gungeon at all. But it's fun to be. It's fun to be in the upper echelon of a game that has this is not and this is not shots fired at anyone else but gungeon is a little bit more based off of skill than ooh, other roguelites like it seems like it it holds player accountability higher than other uh, other roguelites other popular roguelites so it's it's fun to be pretty decent at uh, a game that ooh, touts that he says as he almost gets hit, but doesn't, but doesn't. That's true. Hmm. That just, that's true myself. I think I did. I will get a heart locket if we get enough keys, but I think, we'll, actually, let's just go up there and open that sack. What am I talking about? I kind of want to do the past. Is that wrong? Something about talk, talking about the, uh, the fact that you don't get to go to do the past that much earlier in the run gives me that feeling of maybe I should do the past. Like they, because they put so much effort into them, and they're they're some of the most well-designed, interesting parts of the the game, like level-wise. So it's just such a shame. Ah, I mentioned th I've mentioned this idea a lot, but I just I hope that with some kind of who with some kind of update they do like they make it so after you beat the past you can I don't know take on a harder version of the past ah. or maybe like some kind of special. Eek final floor that changes based off of your past like semi is semi related to your past in some way that is actually on par with going to do the lich that'd be so cool because the designs are so neat it's such a it's such a shame that it doesn't feel like you're supposed to go back I, mean, I should probably get the hyperlight blaster right I mean, the ration is actually the smart thing to do. Fine. We'll do the Lich. But, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll do more pass. We've actually, I say that, but we have been doing pass a decent amount recently. Since I'm doing the classic file. Huh? Ah. We have done it a decent amount. We've at least done four in the past. Uh, I don't know. It didn't take more than ten episodes of the series total. Ah, because I wasn't doing it the whole time. I didn't lose any past, but I just I also didn't do them all in a row. I know that. Whoop. Icebreaker. Hey, uh. Oh. This is made worse by the heavy bullets, I think. Eh, maybe not. Hey, you died. Just, come on. There's the boss. We only have one blank. I want to perfect it just for the sake of doing it now. Also, the health upgrade. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What? 
I'll hit you with my freezing fire bullets. Just don't think about it too hard. Who? I should drop my shell again. We made it this far. Oh, with no real curse. Might as well just drop it so we don't have to deal with it in the bullet hell. Can you reflect these? You can, but it doesn't really technically work. Double freeze. Let's just go with... You know what? Let's use the laser lotus. Ah! Suck. There goes our blank, though. We aren't technically being hit. We're just losing our blanks. But I wish we could keep those blanks for the boss. We could probably buy, buy one. I think there was one for sale. Whoop! Laser Lotus! Well, uh, thank you, I guess. I don't even want to see this secret room now. So I can't get to it. What's with all the... There's so many chests that I can't open. Alright, if we take a hit, we take a hit. No big deal. I don't really care. I think Commando works best. We can keep the dragon, or the shell gun for now. Because you need five ranks of curse for the boss to be cursed. For the, for the boss to have the possibility of being cursed. Well, that's pretty lame. There goes the uh, casual lead god that I talked about. Now that I look like a fool. It's all right. If we had our blanks, I think I'd be fine, but... Oh, well. If we get hit another time, then... We can say it's because we didn't have any blanks because of our full metal jacket. Full blank jacket. Full metal jacket. What is it called? Is this the fastest gun we have? I don't know. Probably not. It'd be interesting to see, because I, I know it's like, it is it is designed for bosses. Like it, it's designed with bosses in mind, but... I don't like that at all. Come on, just... Die! There. Because it'd be interesting to know for this phase right here if we should be using something else. What would be stronger? 